I'm Xin Yao Liu. So I'm from China. I, I got my PhD degree from uh, Peking University in Beijing. And uh, also Dr. Roy Curtis hired me into this uh, awesome institute, Biodesign Institute at ASU. And we get started to do some uh, biofuel project. Uh, Dr. Curtis and I were using this uh, bacteria, uh, organism called cyanobacteria to produce biofuel. Cyanobacteria is basically a, a photosynthetic uh, bacteria which can uh, utilize the sunlight and uh, converting CO2 and the water to their food and use their food to produce uh, all kinds of fats. And uh, we can uh, extract and uh, convert those fats into the fuel we want, like a diesel or gas. Cyanobacteria has a uh, high lipid content in their cells. But uh, the problem of, for scaling up for biofuel or for uh, biodiesel production is that uh, the processing cost is too high. Like uh, we need to spend a lot of energy in, uh, centri in centrifuge the, those uh, culture to get the cells, the con concentrate the cells. And we need uh, some uh, uh, complex uh, chemical process to extract the fat out. So those are very costly, expensive. And uh, what we are doing right now is trying to skip all those uh, e e expensive steps to make this uh, whole process easier and cheaper. So our main purpose is to overcome the high energy and the cost barrier in producing the biofuel by cyanobacteria. So what we did is basically uh, using uh, genetic engineering to have uh, cyanobacteria secret fat acid. And uh, as you can see here, uh, this is one of our engineered strain. As you can see, it can secret fat acid into the culture. And uh, the fat acid can automatically uh, float to the top. It's like a cream or it's like a oil. So all we need to do is to skim the oil layer from the culture, then refine them into diesel. For biodiesel production, carbon is precious, like gold. So what we did, utilize more carbon to secrete more fat in it. So more gold will be converted into diesel. So next, we are going to continually doing this uh, genetic uh, engineering to make uh, it uh, produce more and more fat in it. And I believe that uh, there's a lot of uh, space to push the yields higher and higher and uh, to lower the cost for the future industrialization for scale up.